After many unfruitful searches, 53-year-old English builder and metal detectorist Nick Bateman from Burston, Norfolk, titled this apparently treasure barren South Norfolk field the disappointment. However, on Christmas Eve 2021, the treasure hunter was swooping his detector in the disappointment when his detector let out a low squeal leading to the discovery of a rare gold earring. At first, Bateman thought the earring was a medieval artifact, but a jewelry specialist has since confirmed it's actually dated to the Roman occupation of Britain. According to a report in the BBC, the news of the earring's Roman heritage caused the lucky finder to dance in the kitchen with Badger, his dog. Mr. Bateman said the disappointing field is now one of the best fields he's ever been in. Bateman is becoming a treasure-finding machine. Nick Bateman was referred to as lucky in the opening lines of this article, but his latest discovery is perhaps more so the work of skill with his having been taught the arts of treasure hunting by experienced and renowned Suffolk detectorist Joe Edwards Gill. In 2020, Gill told EPD24 that East Anglia is one of if not the best place to metal detect in the world. Fairly battered, but really valuable nevertheless. Nick Bateman said he had completed all his Christmas stuff and decided to nip out for a sneaky hour or two, swooping his detector. He said the signal was poor, but he dug down seven to 10 centimeters, three or four inches to check, and he noticed what he thought was a gold metal bottle top. Bateman told the BBC that when he wiped away the mud, and realized it was an earring, I sunk to my knees in disbelief. Described as fairly battered, when Bateman unearthed the ancient earring, he followed the correct legal protocol and reported his find to the local coroner. It was then analyzed by numismist Adrian Marsden. From the Norfolk Historic Environment Service, the disappointment field needs renamed. Punched out of two gold discs that were carefully soldered together, the tiny artifact measures 20.5 millimeters by 22.1 millimeters, 0.8 in. Upon a closer inspection, Marsden identified a tiny cross beneath its suspension loop and a laurel wreath and an eagle, which he said is exactly the sort of design you would expect to find on Roman objects. It is thought the earring originally had two loops, one for hanging on the ear hook, and another suspended from the second loop, allowing it to dangle and sparkle in the sun. So it turned out that Bateman was wrong in the end, and that his so-called disappointing field was in fact the keeper of a rare Roman treasure. So it turned out that Bateman was wrong in the end, and that his so-called disappointing field was in fact the keeper of a rare Roman treasure. <laughs>